Hi, Judy from Witch Peacecraft. Welcome to today's video, Pink October. What is Pink October? For me, Pink October is raising the awareness of breast health and breast cancer. And I'm going to be making or finishing a few items in pink during October and posting the pictures with the hashtag PinkOctoberAU. Now, in the past life, I have fundraised for a charity that supports breast cancer. And in October, I usually donate to the same charity because I firmly believe in them. I got an email towards the end of last week from our local market organiser and she's asked me to have a stall next weekend. Um, yes, my knee is still playing up, but with the help of my family, I'm going to have a stall. I have a mounting supply of handmade goods and I'm going to sell them. Whatever I make at the stall, no matter how small, because I don't imagine to make thousands, I'm going to donate to charity. Now, the charity I support is the McGrath Foundation. So for those of you who don't know, bear with me. I'm going to um, tell you about the McGrath Foundation. The McGrath Foundation is a breast cancer support and education charity in Australia. I have to read it because I forget things. Which raises money to place breast, McGrath breast care nurses in and around uh, communities across Australia. It, they increase the awareness of breast health and support people with breast cancer. The foundation was formed in 2005 by Glenn McGrath and his wife Jane. Glenn McGrath is a famous Australian cricketer. In 2005, his wife Jane was diagnosed with breast cancer, but unfortunately she passed over in 2008. The foundation has gone on to much bigger things in the honour of Jane and they do an amazing job. I guess for me, the highlight and their biggest fundraiser is the Sydney Pink Cricket Test held early January. Now, most people would know I can't abide cricket, but I will watch and support the Pink Test. It is awesome. The players wear pink, the crowd get involved. It's pink, pink, pink. And it's a great fundraiser for the McGrath Foundation. And during COVID, it's been difficult for them to fundraise like a lot of other charities. So yes, I'll be having my market stall and whatever profit I make or with the funds I make, it'll be going to the McGrath Foundation. So, so far, what have I made? Well, I have finished my campfire cardigan. There'll be photos at the end because I want a bit of advice. So it is my first ever cardigan I have ever made. I'm quite proud of it. I didn't think I did too bad a job. The tutorial was um, on Ophelia Talks and I'll put a link to that tutorial in the description below. I did change it. I made the sleeves full length because I think they were three quarter sleeves and I made it bigger because I wanted something big and frumpy. Now, I need your advice. So in the comments below, you can tell me whether I should put a toggle button, just one toggle button, like between the breasts when you see the photos because I'm thinking it needs some sort of button just to finish it off there like a toggle let me know what you think so my campfire cardigan I am really addicted to making this even though the yarn I went off the yarn color after all the dramas of getting the yarn but I do like it now it's finished and it was a great tutorial I'm going to pause the video and take it off because I'm a little hot now I made the campfire cardigan in red heart ombre in the color sea coral that's what's left and I've been thinking what will I do with this and then of course Crystal from Bago Day did a mother and daughter beanie um, promoting breast cancer and I think there might be enough there to make the little girl's beanie so I'll probably be making that with my leftovers so that's the first thing I've, I've made or finished in pink I actually made this one from scratch in pink Ta -da! the Ross hat by Smells Like Yarn, you know, Ross. Everybody loves this knitted hat. It always turns out great. The pattern he has out shows you directions from for different weights of yarn. It's awesome. And, oh, this is so soft. And if you're a beginner knitter, this is an ideal beanie pattern for you to try. And I do believe there is a tutorial because I think the first one I ever made, I followed his tutorial. It always fix, works out great. I made a pom-pom with leftover yarn 
and it's a bit floppy because it's a tie on pom pom so it can be taken off and worn without but this yarn oh, it's gorgeous the thing is I don't know what it is because it came in the stash I got from my friend Janice in Victoria and it didn't have a ball band I took the white off because I didn't really want white I wanted all the pink and this is what's left but Janice I'd love to know if you remember what this yarn is because it is gorgeous it knitted beautifully it feels beautiful it is great yarn and I don't think I have ever used it before it is close to a four weight so Janice let me know if you remember what it is but there's a bit left from that so yeah they're the two items I've made because yes I can only do a bit I have done other things for the craft market that aren't pink I'll show you in another video and of course there is my pink tea cozy using the square tutorial from bag o day a very early tutorial and I turned it into a tea cozy so they're the things I have done so far for pink October so look out for the photos with the hashtag PinkOctoberAU. Now, you can get involved and promote breath health awareness or breast cancer by making something in pink. Just a little something, even a Ross hat. And posting your pictures and put the hashtag PinkOctoberAU. It's not a big prize draw because um, most of the money I make or have left in October will be going as a donation to charity. But I may do a small prize of a pattern um, if you post pictures. So you can post them on Instagram with the hashtag PinkOctoberAU or join my Facebook Make Along group and post them in there. Um, but yeah, there'll be one small pattern prize just for getting involved in Pink October. Um, for me, October will be, this is my motto, as long as there's pink in the world, the world will be a better place. And that's what I'll be telling myself this October when I'm making things with pink. They don't have to be 100% pink. Um, that's about it, guys. I hope you like the items I've made. Please make a suggestion about my campfire cardigan. I got quite addicted to making it, even though the yarn, getting the yarn caused me dramas. I am looking for another easy cardi tutorial rather than pattern. Um, until I get better, I think I better follow tutorials. So if you have any suggestions, leave them in the comments below. All the tutorials I did to make things like the Ross hat, the Ophelia Talks, Campfire Cardigan, Bag O'Day Square, her new beanie tutorial, I'll put them in the description below for the links so you can check them out. And I hope you do take this opportunity to promote breast health awareness by joining in Pink October AU. So guys, thank you for watching. Until next time, make sure you take care of each other and have one pink crafty day. Bye for now.